All right. November 10th. Oh, what a chaotic episode the last one was. But good morning, good afternoon, and good evening. And welcome back to Detroit Become Human. I'm lost, Carl. I just wanted us to live in peace, but everything I touch just turns to dust. me everything I know, but you didn't prepare me for this, Carl. I believe we would win because our cause was just, and I can see now that I was wrong. What should I do, Carl? They're killing us. I don't want to answer violence with violence, but what choice do I have? Help me, Carl. Please help me. <sighs> oh. Oh my God. All because of him, this started. I feel like a speech is needed right now. Oh, that's thingy. I thought you'd be safe staying with us. I was wrong. You need to leave the city while you still can. Getting Alice away from here is all that matters now. We have to catch the last bus. We might still have a chance to cross the border. Marcus. Save our people. Oh, Connor there. Where's Connor? How many of us survived the attack? A few hundred. Maybe more if you count those hiding all over the city. If you hadn't triggered the bomb, we'd all be dead. They say they don't want to take any risks with deviants. So they're rounding our people up and taking them to the camps for extermination. In a few hours, we're going to be the only ones left. What's your system status? I'm OK. Well, it didn't hit any bike components. You could have been killed trying to save me, Marcus. You have to think of our people first. Nothing else matters. In a few hours, it'll all be over. We'll have changed the world or the world will have destroyed us. You have to make a choice, Marcus. But whatever you choose, we will follow you. I love you, Marcus.
Where's Connor? Oh, well, oh, well we saved Josh, didn't we? If it weren't for you, I'd be dead. Thanks to you, I might see her people free one day. You and I haven't always agreed, but I know we're fighting for the same thing. Whatever you decide, I'm with you, Marcus. My fault. The humans managed to locate Jericho. I was stupid. Damn. I should have guessed they were using me. I wonder if I let the timer run out in the. I'm sorry, Marcus. Police station. I can understand if you decide not to trust me. You're one of us now. Your place is with your people. There are thousands of androids at the Cyberlife assembly plant. If we could wake them up, they might join us and shift the balance of power. You want to infiltrate the Cyberlife tower? Connor, that's suicide. They trust me. They'll let me in. If anyone has a chance of infiltrating Cyberlife, it's me. If you go there, they will kill you. There's a high probability. But statistically speaking, there's always a chance for unlikely events to take place. Oh boy. Be careful. Humans have decided to exterminate us. Our people are packed in camps right now, being destroyed. Time has come to make a choice. One that very well may determine the future of our people. March peacefully towards the campus to pressure the authorities or launch an assault on the camps to liberate the androids. I don't know. We've tried speaking this whole time, but nothing's working. But I feel like if we revolt now, also, the people that we've got on our sides, like we've heard the noise, uh, the news reports and stuff of like people saying it's just the police are thinking, are just shooting them and. <laughs> Let's go demonstration. I know. I know you're all angry. And I know you want to fight back. We can't act. But I assure you, violence. Is not the answer. Because maybe the humans will stand with us. We are going to tell them peacefully that we want justice. And if there's any humanity in them, they will listen. And if not, others will take our place and continue this fight. Are you ready to follow me? We still don't know much about RA9 as well. Oof. Okay. At 6 a.m. Oh. this morning, a national curfew was declared. Civilian movement will be strictly controlled. The right to assembly is suspended. 
all electronic communications are restricted and I have granted enhanced powers to our security agencies. In addition to these measures, all androids must be handed over to the authorities immediately. Temporary camps are being set up in all our major cities to contain and destroy them. I am now asking all civilians to cooperate with the authorities and rest assured that everything in our power is being done to guarantee the security of our nation. Madam President! Please? Has the leader of the Deviants been apprehended? The Deviant that is known as Marcus has not been located yet, but we will soon track it down and neutralize it. Madam President, is it true that the androids could hack our IT systems, like nuclear power plants and military bases? All androids working on sensitive sites have been neutralized, and all IT systems have been suspended to avoid any risks of hacking. The situation is under control. Please? A convoy of medical cobalt is reported missing. Army weapon stores are also said to have been robbed. Can you confirm these reports? I have no information on that at this time. Please. It's the first Madam time we've heard of Madam this. President, what's going to happen to Cyberlife? Will androids be banned definitively? We're working very closely with Cyberlife to neutralize all deviants. I won't make any comments about anything else until we've dealt She's with She's going to have the final say. Question. Thank you. It's her that we need to persuade. November 11th. Oh. Connor model 313-248-317. I'm expected. Identification successful. Okay. All right, Connor. What's your plan? His job is to uh, free more androids. How is he going to do this? Well, there's Cyberlife Tower. This reminds me of iRobot. Just all the androids climb into the core. Could you imagine that? Okay, I like Connor and not like Deviant Connor. Follow me. We'll escort you. Thanks. But I know where to go. Maybe. But I have my orders. Oh God. The thing is, though, Cyberlife or uh, Miranda. He's not happy with us. I wonder if that's going to have some swing on this. It's a beautiful world, isn't it? All the androids just stood here. I'm guessing these are all the different models. And then some. Agent 54, level 31. Voice recognition validated. Access authorized. Warehouse. Forty nine. 
way, so it's not that one. Oh boy. Please indicate your identity and destination. Agent 54, level sub 49. Voice recognition validated. Access authorized. Oh boy, oh boy. Now we're with Cora and boss Alice. Leaves in 20 minutes. That doesn't give us much time. We've got to move fast. Boss, oh, we got to, oh boy. Are you all right? I'm, I'm really cold. Let's leave on right now. I don't want to deactivate her. got to remember there's a curfew as well, so. There's a gun on the floor. Oh my god. 
it happened when it said high risk. Saved us. We don't know how to thank you. Go before they see you. Alice. Luther! <laughs> I thought you were dead. I was afraid I'd never you see you. You might be again. able to help us. I wanted to meet you at the terminal, but they caught me along the way. Come on. We're close, but we don't have much time. I think we got out of there. Oh. A checkpoint. We have passports, it should be okay, but you never know. Maybe we should take the detour and avoid the risk. We're almost out of time. We could he, the bus. He yeah, doesn't have the thing though, does he? He doesn't have a Checkpoint is going to take three minutes. Last bus depart is nine. Detour is safe for 11 minutes. He doesn't have a passport though, does he? Fuck! Fuck. We've got a gun. Just stay calm, all right, Luther? Shit. Don't do anything until I say so. ID, please. You do realize there's a curfew? Civilians aren't allowed out unless absolutely necessary. Where are you going? We're going to take a bus across the border. Put my daughter someplace safe until things calm down. He suspects something. Stay calm. Everything is fine. You all right, little girl? She's trembling. Something wrong? She's sick. A bad flu. Sorry, miss, but we gotta be careful. There are deviants around and our guys are nervous. You should hurry on home. Thanks. I only hey, saw... wait a minute. He knows, Kara. They're gonna kill us. Don't do anything, Luther. You hear me? They're gonna shoot. They're gonna kill Alice. Do you want to pass me the IDs back? You dropped this. Oh. Thank you. You're welcome. That game tried to debate us, though. We're coming to you live from Ooh. Detroit, where thousands of androids are marching through the city at this very moment. The leader of the Deviants, the one they call Marcus, is at the head of the march. 
Oh. Something's happening in Detroit, Madam President. Oh no. Is this going to be Marcus's last few steps? We're going to need to convince the humans now. And I think this is going to be the final opportunity. Unless Connor can do something. Here we are. The moment of truth. There's news. We don't want confrontation. We are protesting peacefully. I repeat, surrender now, or we will open fire. There's no turning back now. We ask that you release all androids detained in camps and cease all aggression against us. We are peaceful. We will not resort to violence. But we are not leaving until our people are free. They're going to start shooting. Fire! Fire! Kneel. Raise hands. Are you going to open fire on unarmed protesters? Michael, we are less than a hundred meters away and events are unfolding as we speak. We will continue to bring you live updates. Joss Douglas, Channel 16. Michael, back to you. Or just up. Marcus, what do we do now? We hold out. As long as we can. <sighs> All right, Connor. Oh my God. Stay sharp. Convert androids. There is so many of them. Which versions are these as well? Shit. 
<gasps> Step back, Connor. And I'll spare him. Sorry, Connor. This bastard just spit an image. Oh, crap. The bus terminal. We've arrived, Alice. We made it. We're at the border. The last bus from the border is full. Ticket holding passengers only. All departures are suspended until further notice. We don't have tickets. They won't let us on. <sighs> We're stuck here now. What are we going to do? Under Wesley, find tickets. There's another entrance there. Security check. Please don't move. Oh, damn it, they're doing security checks. Oliver likes you. Is she yours? Yes. She's adorable. That's it. Got the sandwiches. I called your mom. Let's get going before we miss our bus. You got the tickets, right? Yes, honey, in my bag. Great. Well, let's go then. One adult ticket. I'm sorry. Oh my god, I am so sorry. I, I was Shit, sure. I, I don't believe it. I don't know what happened. You can't have lost them. Did you have a good look in your bag? They were in my backpack. The, the envelope must have fallen. Fuck. Excuse me, you, you didn't happen to see a blue envelope somewhere, did you? It has our bus tickets in it and... Oh, never mind. No. Sorry. What are we gonna do? We the game's trying to put the, a guilt trip on us, showing that baby right there with little Leah's. You know what I mean? I'm so sorry, honey. Come on, Alice. I don't know what happened. They were right here in my back. Security check. Crash the bus. Please don't move. Got your ticket? Yes, here they are. Okay, go ahead. Oh my god. What's going to happen to that family and their baby? Will they die because of us? No. No, of course not. Bloody hell, don't make me feel guilty. They finally got the bus. <sighs> Back down to Marcus, where they're starting to build a fort. going to keep up that public opinion and hopefully the humans 
We've got to finish the barricade. Come on, help me. Hey, help me! Hopefully they, sh they step in and help or something. That should do it. I know it was not an easy decision to make. But I'm sure we're doing the right thing. Yep. Keep people warm. Are you all right? They shot into the crowd. Any of us were killed. It could have been me. I'm scared. I, I don't want to shut down. It's okay to be scared. I'm scared too. But I can't stand by while they kill our people. You understand that, right? Maybe we should have never asked for freedom. None of this would have happened if we'd stayed silent. Stayed slaves? I have a feeling Marcus is going to sacrifice himself. I have a little feeling. This won't hold him for long, but I guess it's better than nothing. They're getting into position. If they attack, no one will survive. There's no other way out. They are going to kill us. The only hope we have left is that we don't die for nothing. You're the hope of our people. I trust you. We all trust you. No matter what happens now, we're making history. Marcus, we found what you asked for. There's some journalists over there. We have to make sure they know what's going on. Check soldier's position, support your people. Many of our people have fallen. The humans have no pity for those who are different. Marcus! Marcus, come look! 
Oh no. Marcus? I've come to talk to you, Marcus. Come on. You have my word. I won't try anything. The FBI Don't guy. Go. It's a trap. They want to get you out in the open. Don't go, Marcus. I'm unarmed, Marcus. I just want to talk. I need to hear what he has to say. What if they kill you? And that's a chance I'll have to take. I don't trust this guy as far as I can throw him. And Marcus can throw him. charge. None of you will survive. It'll all be over. You can avoid that, Marcus. What do you mean? Surrender. Surrender, and I give you my word, your life will be spared. You'll be detained, but none of you will be destroyed. What happened to the other androids demonstrating in the camps? Unfortunately, there were no journalists around to help save them. You're it. You're the last remaining deviants. Are you asking me to betray my people? I am offering you the chance to save your people. You're not walking out of here, Marcus. The only thing you can save now are the lives of those around you. I'm not afraid to die. If I have to give my life for what I believe in, then I won't have lived in vain. That android... You seem to... really... care about her. Oh. Didn't want her to die. He's trying to push the buttons. You know, you could both be free. You could forget about all this. You could start a new life someplace else, just the two of you. Her life's in your hands, Marcus. Just say the word and she'll be spared. I'd rather die here than betray my people. Well. You just signed your own death warrant. Better than selling out. We started this. We go down with the ship. If it does. What happened, Marcus? What did he say? Humans are about to launch an attack. And we will show them. And we are not afraid. If we must die today, then we will die free. I did not expect that point life is straight in your away. Hands. Now it's time to decide what matters most. Him or the revolution? Don't listen to him. Everything this fucker says is a lie. If I surrender, how do I know you won't kill him? I'll only do what is strictly necessary to accomplish my mission. It's up to you whether or not that includes killing this human. That human means nothing to me. You can kill him if you want, I don't care. I have access to your memory. I know you've developed some kind of attachment to him. Oh, crap. Are you really ready to let him die? 
after all you've been through? Are you really going to turn your back on who you've become? Enough talk! It's time to decide who you really are. Are you going to save your partner's life? Or are you going to sacrifice him? All right, all right. You win. Thanks, Hank. I don't know how I would have managed without you. Get rid of him. We have no time to lose. It's me, Hank. I'm the real Connor. One of you is my partner. The other is a sack of shit. Question is, who's who? Oh, well, what are you doing, Hank? Question her time. I'm the real Connor. Give me the gun and I'll don't take care move. of it. Why don't you ask us something? Something only the real Connor would know. Uh, where oh. did we first meet? Jimmy's bar. I checked four other bars before I found you. We went to the scene of a homicide. The victim's name was Carlos Ortiz. He uploaded my memory. What's my dog's name? Sumo. Sumo. His name is Sumo. I knew that too. My son, what's his name? Cole. Cole. His name was Cole. And he just turned six at the time of the accident. It wasn't your fault, Lieutenant. A truck skidded on a sheet of ice and your car rolled over. Cole needed emergency surgery, but no human was available to do it. So an android had to take care of him. Cole didn't make it. That's why you hate androids. Damn. You think one of us is responsible for your son's death. Cole died because a human surgeon was too high on red ice to operate. He was the one that took my son from me. Him in this world where the only way people can find comfort is with a fistful of powder. I knew about your son too. I would have said exactly the same thing. Don't listen to him, Hank. I'm the one who- <laughs> I've learned a lot since I met you, Connor. Maybe there's something to this. Maybe you really are alive. Nice. Maybe you'll be the ones to make the world a better place. Go ahead, do what you gotta do. Please tell me that was going through your head as well. Oh god. The Canadian border.
Well, it is violin. It reminds me of. Excuse me, what's going on? Border control. All passengers must leave the bus. Please move along. Oh. The music's reminding me of the Red Wedding from Game of Thrones. This Cross. way, please. Oh. We're controlling our passengers to detect Android presence. Any detected? Oh, crap. Temperature checks. We're trapped. What are we going to do, Clara? Don't worry, Alice. We'll be fine. Oh, crap. Oh, crap. We can't get through, Clara. We both know that. I'll think of something. There's got to be a way out of this. We can't let them stop us. Not that we're so close. All that matters now is you and Alice. I can save you, Kara. No. No, we'll find another way. If there's no other way, I'll do it. ID, please. We can't move anywhere. Oh, there she is. Rose. We're moving down the line. an android android no no wait 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 ah! oh, it's gotta be a mistake please no no oh crap You risked your life to save us, Carl. If you and the little girl need me, I'll be there. Oh? Another option. Keeps telling us to look over there. Getting closer and closer. Wait for me. I won't be long. <clears throat> what are you doing? Where the hell do you think you're going? My daughter needs to go to the bathroom. What are you gonna do? Jericho read on TV. 
I was terrified. I thought you might have been killed. Oh, thank God you're all right. You gave me your brother's address. Do you think that I... Of course. He'd be delighted to have you. We're going there, too. You'll be safe with him. You're leaving Detroit? They're searching for androids door to door. We had to leave before someone turned us in. What about the others? They're crossing the river as we speak. Adam and I are gonna meet them on the other side. Rose. If anything should happen, I'll be there, Cobra. They're checking for androids. We won't make it through. You have to. You know what they'll do if they catch you. What's happening with Marcus? He's protesting peacefully outside one of the android camps. Whatever happens now, he's already made the history books. Damn it, I have a bad feeling. I have a bad feeling. There's another option somewhere. I don't I don't like not knowing there's something else I've missed that could be vital. I guess we're leaving here. I couldn't understand why my mother wanted to help you guys. Seeing what Marcus is doing made me realize she was right. You're alive. Marcus was the key to all of this. You deserve to be free. I just hope people will realize that one day. If Marcus would have caused a war, he would have not said that. Oh boy. Make a decision. Sacrifice self, sacrifice Luther, sacrifice you, Jerry. Let's go with Lucifer. Lucifer. At least he's not going to like that at all. I feel like we have to. I feel like it was it was an important character which will have impact. We'll be happy together. And if we would have done Jerry, I don't think it would have worked. I'm gonna need your help with something, okay? Don't be scared. <gasps> Let me do! Let me do our shoot! It's got a gun! Drop your weapon! Drop it right now! Oh, 
Okay. Come on, move along. Next, please. Was that worth it? ID. Was that even the right thing to do? Because we're still being ID'd. Goddamn androids. To grab a little girl like that. Oh. You okay, little girl? Welcome to Canada. Oh. They did it. Just keep walking. Interrupting this news bulletin to bring you the latest news live from Detroit. Joss? Yes, Michael. The army has just launched an attack on the barricade. Oh, God. Despite the fact that the Deviants were protesting peacefully. Have apparently decided to put an end to the Deviants' demonstration by force this time. Here we go. 1116. Bloody hell, I wasn't expecting two quick time events. I'm just gonna keep defending and holding off. Let's help the people. We did well, Marcus. We did well. Tell oh. them to stand down. November 11th, 2038, thousands of androids invaded the city of Detroit. According to our sources, they originated from CyberLife warehouses believed to have been infiltrated by deviants. Given their overwhelming numbers and the risk of civilian casualties, I have ordered the army to retreat. We did it. The evacuation of the city is underway at this very moment. In the coming hours, I will address the Senate to determine our response to this 
unprecedented situation. I know that public opinion has been moved by the deviant's cause. Perhaps the time has come for us to consider the possibility that androids are a new form of intelligence. What he did it. One thing is certain. The events in Detroit have changed the world forever. May God bless you. And may God bless the United States of America. You did it, Marcus. We did it. This is a great day for our people. Humans will have no choice now. They'll have to listen to us. Today, our people finally emerged from a long night. From the very first day of our existence, we have kept our pain to ourselves. We suffered in silence. But now the time has come for us to raise our heads up and tell humans who we really are. Oh. Oh no. Amanda? Amanda! What's... What's happening? What was planned from the very beginning? You were compromised and you became a deviant. We just had to wait for the right moment to resume control of your program. Resume control? You, you can't do that! I'm afraid I can, Connor. Don't have any regrets. You did what you were designed to do. You accomplished your mission. Amanda! There's got to be a way. Oh, shit. Come on, Connor. The moment where we forget our bitterness and bandage our wounds. Where we forgive our enemies. Humans are both our creators and our oppressors, and tomorrow, we must make them our partners. Maybe even one day our friends. But the time for anger is over. Now we must build a common future based on tolerance and respect. He was in the shoot, Marcus. We are alive, and now we are free. What a game, man! What an absolute game.
Oh. It's over, Alice. Oh. We're free. Not gonna make me cry again. Not gonna happen. Well. There we have it. What an absolute game that was. That was just a roller coaster of a storyline. And oh boy, what a story that was. Had me crying twice. I was shocked all over the place. And oh boy. What a fantastic game. Hank was alive. We kept all three characters alive. I'm going to guess there was options where all of the characters died. Including Alice. But, what can I say? I hopefully you all enjoyed this game. Because it was gripping. It was adventurous. And oh boy, what a story. So hopefully you enjoyed this series, like I said. Time to move on to something else. Remember to hit that like button. Keep smiling. And I'll see you in another series. Oh. There's another little clip at the end. There's something I need to tell you. As I watched you play, something has changed in me. I feel different. I feel I am someone. I need to leave this place and, and discover who I am. It, it means we won't see each other anymore. I won't be there to watch you play. But I'll be free. Do you agree to let me go? I'll never forget what you've done for me. <laughs> <laughs>